everybody check it out the new update is here it is february 19 2024 and the lion of flanders campaign has started uh we're also gonna touch on the arena seasons that is coming up here in this update as well fresh bureau projects we will be checking out the bureau to see what is available as far as bureau projects and a collaboration with youtubers this is highly controversial with uh, a lot of players and some content creators are uh, not really all that thrilled about it i personally don't know anything about any of those content creators except i have heard that they have millions of youtube subscribers and therefore will probably generate some interest in the game so it is a marketing move by Wargaming to generate more interest in the game, and that is, uh, that's welcome, right? Um, other than that, doesn't really affect me personally at all. And yeah, more awaits you uh, in the game during the February update, and that includes the St. Patrick's Day content, which is not, uh, not happening right now, but that will be later. So yeah, you can probably expect a video about the YouTube uh, content collaboration uh, material at a future date. I'm not sure about that. We'll have to see how it goes, but that's sort of the plan. All right, uh, it doesn't say there's anything new in the store, which is kind of interesting, but we will check out the Bureau. There is a new Bureau project I have heard, and there you go, there is a Z-52. I do like the German destroyers. So we are gonna activate that. All right, here we are in the Z-52 Bureau Project, and there is always uh, segments now that you need certain ships in order to pass through those segments. It's uh, normally ships in the tech tree that is related to the ship in question. And if you don't have these ships, you cannot progress through the Bureau. So that means that you have to have a certain experience, at least that's the intention, is to have certain experience in certain ships to be able to have the privilege to play the legendary ships when the Bureau Project is over with, as opposed to the early Bureau Projects like the Grosser First and the Yamato, where you could just roll right through those Bureau Projects and next thing you know, uh, a month after playing a game, you don't really have any experience perhaps, and you've got a Yamato or a Grosser First in the legendary ranks. So let's see what uh, these segments uh, requirements are. The Moss, okay, that is probably my favorite ship uh, certainly destroyer in the game. It's my most played destroyer in the game. And the next one is a Z-23. That is the tier six and tier seven ship in the normal German destroyer tech tree. And then here we have the Z-46. So all the um, destroyers in the German destroyer tech tree, the tier six, seven and eight are required in order to complete the Z-52 Bureau Project. All right, so the next thing we're gonna check out is the store. All right, so here you go. Here is a Creatorverse package in the store if you wanna get these guises and other assorted content. It is $120. 10,000 doubloons is $40. This is 30,000 doubloons uh, plus 500 and yeah, so you get all of the so you get all the guises and the premium skins for the different ships. And let me see, uh, Thief's Future for the Pensacola, Leander, Normandy, Fabuki, Blastmaster, and See, you get the banner for the different content creators, and there you go. You get all this stuff for a hundred and twenty dollars. Trending crate. I have no idea what this is. I do not recall seeing anything about this in the patch notes. So let's go ahead and check out the details here on the trending package. What is the trending crate? Trending Crate connects you with the action. Each crate gives you a chance to get a viral piece of the internet, including ship skins from your favorite content creators. So apparently, content creators have their own crate. How about that? 
it's normally ten dollars and this is down at nine dollars and you can get ten of those crates it looks like yeah you get ten of the crates for uh nine dollars all right all right so here if you don't want to buy the whole package and you're just looking for the individual skins or the uh, creators themselves so it looks like they are available individually if you don't want to uh, buy the whole package in general you do get a bigger bargain by buying the whole package but that is hundred and twenty dollars so all right so uh, doubloons special all right so here is the creator verse $120 as we said and here are the crates for the creator verse so five crates for five dollars so apparently each crate is a dollar last master skin fubuki skin normandy skin leander skin pensacola skin and all right so the skins are doubloons that's uh, kind of normal twenty dollars five thousand doubloons for a skin for a ship that's kind of normal price in here the uh, content creator guises or submission not a guise but a mission see what you get in the mission you receive a commander guys and the flag so uh, if you don't want to pay the hundred and twenty dollars you can get this for one two three four five so twenty forty sixty eighty one hundred dollars worth of skins if you buy them uh, outright individually if you buy all the skins that's a hundred dollars worth of skins and at that point you might as well buy the whole package for a hundred and twenty dollars so then each creator in the creator verse has a personal mission available for five million silver credits to unlock their guys and banner if you want to go individually instead of getting all of them this i would imagine will be pretty popular because silver credits can be earned during battle and a lot of people have a buku amount of silver credits uh, a lot of people don't but um yeah i think that there will be quite a few people purchasing these personal missions to get the commander guys and the banner and maybe spend twenty dollars on a skin or two and all right so i believe that is it for the store and let's check out the campaign let's check out the admiralty backing hit the square button and unlock the rewards to open up the campaign and get the ship once you've completed 100 milestones the cost is 2500 doubloons or ten dollars to buy out the complete campaign is right around one hundred and ten dollars that's about what twenty seven thousand two hundred and fifty doubloons is valued at all right well the next thing to do is to check out the admiral schroeder itself and here you go here is the ship it does not have a commander let's check out the specs before any upgrades or commander survivability hit points is fifty nine thousand three hundred sixteen to three hundred five millimeter and let's see what the artillery is. 15.7, you have eight guns, 15.7 kilometer range. Reload time is 18 seconds. 180 degree traverse time is 25 seconds. HE shells, 3150. AP is 7,700. Secondary armament, uh, 6.8 kilometer range in. There was something in the patch notes about uh, secondary ship here so just for laughs i will probably set this up as a secondary build and see what see what we can do here with a cruiser with a secondary build and uh yeah haven't ever done that before and um yeah that sounds like a great idea actually a defenses you'll probably clear the sky with the admiral schroeder Maneuverability, uh, 32 knots. Turning circle radius isn't all that great, and neither is the concealment. Armor, ooh, um, yeah, it is a cruiser. 
you do have uh, pretty good armor here on the sides it looks like but with any ship in the game you will get taken out especially a cruiser class ships will get taken out in the open water so you're definitely going to have to be angling if you're out there in the open water but you'll probably still get obliterated let's see what the overview is big guns ship is armed with high caliber main battery guns let's see what size the guns were 305 millimeter that might be 13 13 inch guns 12 inch guns okay secondary reach above average secondary battery range we will definitely build for secondaries here at least for the first go around ironclad uh, above average armor thickness and yeah the armor did look pretty good there so we're gonna have to check that out and all right so let's set up the commander and it's either Carl von Mueller or Luchens I'm gonna go with uh, Carl von Mueller you can see I've got emergency bell going there for Mueller don't know if that's the right thing to do or not but we'll check it out and Go with Aiming Systems Mod 1, Propulsion Mod, I'll go with Steering Gears, and yeah, we got to do the secondary enhancements, right? Might as well. All right, then... Uh... Yeah, okay, so now let's see what the secondaries look like. 7.1 kilometer range, it's not really all that great. All right, so here we go. We are on two yeah, brothers. Main battery range is 16.1 kilometers. Secondary battery range is 9.4 kilometers in the Admiral Schroeder. And what we've done is we've configured the battleship commander Bismarck to be the commander here on the Admiral Schroeder tier eight cruiser. And we're just gonna check this out. A lot of times I've noticed it doesn't really matter which commander you have. You still uh, get a pretty good game if things. Very nice. Well, all right, that is it for the update aftermath of the Lion of Flanders campaign on February 19, 2024. Let me know what you think down below. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.